Mara Durand, who in the semi-final set the new Paralympic Games record. She's the world record holder as well, and I think she certainly wanted to break the world record in the semi-final. She can do it here if she can. Big Brazilian. One and the two in the Para Pan Ams in Toronto. Lane three for Azerbaijan, silver and the one, bronze and the two. At the World Championships last October in Doha, Elena Chibanu and her guide, Hakim Ibrahimov. In lane five, the reigning Pan Am World and Paralympic champion for Cuba, Amara Duran. Her guide is Yonel Kindelan, her husband, an international hammer thrower. And in lane seven, the reigning European champion from Wattenscheid in Germany, it's Katrin Muller-Rockart and a guide, Sebastian Fricker. Gold in the one and the two, bronze in the long jump at the Europeans in Grisetta. She has never won a global medal, either at a Paris or at a World Championship. Duran has got all the golds lately. Doubles in the Worlds 2011 and in 2012, wasn't in Lyon. Triple champion in Toronto and in Doha last year. The Oliveira Correa in one, Chibanu three, Duran five, Mollerotgaard in seven. The final of the women's 100 meters, T12. And they're away, huge cheer for the Brazilian Oliveira, but it's Durand away in lane five. Came very close to the world record in the semi-final. She wants the world record here as well as the gold. And she's got the world record. 11.41, Amara Duran. She's got everything she's wanted. It's Christmas Day. Gold in the Paralympics again. And the world record has gone 11.41. Amara Durant, Chibanu with a new European record, gets the silver for Azerbaijan, and Muller has a global medal, she has the bronze. A very smooth race, a very powerful race run by Amara Durand and a guide, Uniol Kindelan. Never looked like losing. They were only with her through the first few strides. And a world record again on this lightning quick track at the engine hour. She Durand. decided it so much, didn't she, in that semi-final? Yes, made such a good start. Chibanu able to stick with her through the first 30 or 40. But Durand easing away, pushing to the line. Those in the outside lanes could not keep the pace of the middle two, Chibanu and Duran. But Muller Rotgat finishing with the bronze medal. But how about this synchronized running between athlete and guide and the timing at the end as Durand chests the line at 11.40 for a new world record, breaks her own by eight one hundredths. As Durand released in time by our guide, Yunel Kindelan. And that is. A fourth major 100 meter, a fifth major 100 meters title for Amara Duran and the world record on top of that, that she had set in Doha at the World Championships last October. Amara Duran wins at 11.40, a new world record. Elena Chibanu of Azerbaijan with a new European record, 11.71, and Katrin Monorotka, the bronze for Germany. It is medium visual impairment, so guides are optional. They've all gone with them here. The three medalists from the 100 meters final are all in this. Oksana Baturchuk 
It's in lane seven there. She actually won her first round heat in the 100 metres, but was disqualified after that. And she is the former European and world champion. Uh, did the sprint hat trick in 2014 in Swansea. Ukraine were not in Grisetto at the Europeans and neither were the Netherlands. So she found herself automatically dethroned. Silver in the 400 in London, bronze in the one. Lane five, here she is. Gold in the one, the two and the four in Doha at the World Championships last year and at the Pan Ams in Toronto prior to that. Gold in the one and the four at London 2012. Gold in the one here, Amara Gerard. Lane three, silver in the 100 metres here. Silver in the one in Doha at the Worlds and bronze in the two for Azerbaijan, Elena Chabanu. Her guide, Hakim Ibrahimov, an international athlete in his own right. And bronze in the 100 metres for Katrin muller rotgaard who's the reigning European champion over 100 and 200 for Germany. So it is a very, very strong field. Amara Durand of Cuba, absolutely brilliant athlete. Twice Paralympic champion in London over 100 and 400. And she has claimed five world titles. You know, Kinderland, her guide, Ibrahimov with Chibanu, Fricka with muller and Burakov with Paturchuk. So it's muller in one, Chibanu in three, Duran in five, Paturchuk in seven. The final of the women's 200 metres, T12. They're away in the first time of Askik. Duran with a very, very good start in five. Paturchuk's gone out well in seven as well, not having had a chance to reach the final of the 100. But it's Duran out in front as they hit the bend. Bonacek in second place, Chibanu in third, but Duran has got a big title to put herself forward to, and the world champions flying here. Amara Duran's done the double, 23.06, so close to her own world record, set in Doha. It's a Paralympic Games record, 23.05 has been rounded down to, and Duran shows her absolute class again. They've got some great sprinters in Cuba. It's a European record for Paterczyk in second place in 23.65. And Chibanu with the record as well in 23.80 in third place. Muller Rockard in fourth. What a quality field, but Amara Duran shows her quality yet again, 23.05 and so close to her own world record. She was only 200s away. Yes, it was a quality run, no doubt about that. 23.05, and also standard set by Bodachuk and also Shabanu. So it was a quality final, but brilliant technique and strong with the line was Amara Durand, the 24-year-old, and in the end, probably putting a bigger margin on the silver medalist in the last 20 metres. What great form she showed, and then a good battle for the silver medal. Bodachuk, the 32-year-old, turning 32 today, in fact. Happy birthday. Well, it makes up certainly for the disqualification for the 100 metres final, but just look at that, and the rhythm between the guide and the athlete. Amara Duran crossing the line. Yonel Kinderland will get a gold medal as well, of course. A little look up by him. Duran, sometimes the T12s will have enough vision, just be able to look across and see the time. But Duran takes it. Paralympic record 23.05. Continental records for Paterchuk. And the world record set in the semi final by Cuba's Amara Duran. took T13 gold four years ago, but uh, deterioration in her eyesight since then means she's now T12. Every available title is currently hers. Melanie Vegas Gamez, the European champion for Spain. Previously, bonds in the 4 by one at the World Championships in Doha. The former European champion on the treble over 1, 2 and 4 in Swansea for Ukraine, Oksana Baturczyk. They didn't compete at this year's Europeans. World champion over 2, she's previously been and won as well. The reigning Pan-American world and Paralympic champion for Cuba, Amara Duran. 
100 and 400 double she did in London. Three goals for the Pan Ams and the World Championships, each of those last year. And in lane one for Mozambique, from Maputo, bronze in the 400 metres at the Doha World Championships, Edmilsa Gaverna. T12 guides are optional, but they've all gone for it. Amara Duran with a brilliant double in London and aiming here for a treble. Having already won the 100 and the 200, a world record in the one, and already here in the four, even before the final. Seven global titles already to her name. So away they go the first time of asking. To run away very well, but Torchuk also on the inside for Ukraine. But Turan pacing it very well, but Turchuk for me has actually gone off to a better start, but now Turan is beginning to run it down. Megan Scammers on the outside has been overtaken, and Turan is coming to her own now. A guide alongside her, Yunel Kinderlat, and she really is motoring here. That world record so impressive in the semi-final, and she has her eyes on gold here. But Tarczyk not just shaken off yet, but as they turn for home into the closing straight, you can see the real lead beginning to develop. Durant pushing all the time, but Tarczyk in second place. It's Governo in third. That world record is 52.9, and that world record will be smashed by a second plus 51.78. She's a true great Amara Durant. But Tarczyk got the silver and Governo the bronze. But this was virtuoso all the way by Amara Duran. And a legend continues to grow.